All right, next up we have Susie Higuchi speaking on Take a Pick. In the dark depths of YouTube lurks a video that was posted in April of 2015 and has haunted me ever since. This is that video. Most of you won't recognize it, but for the few that do, they know the extreme degree of embarrassment that it's brought to me. So what is this video? This is a 10 minute video that follows my hockey journey from back when I was merely three years old up until I was about 11. Just so you get the vibe, here's a short clip. Point of showing you this video. No, it's not to prove that my younger self had insanely sick dangles, but rather to show you something that I was really embarrassed about. Back around eighth grade, I'm not sure who, but someone somehow found this video. Suddenly, all my friends and teammates were raging about how adorable and funny the video was while I was mortified. This had originally been something that my parents had created for the sole purpose of giving my grandparents back in Japan something that they could watch to know how my hockey career was going. Instead, it now has a whopping 1,631 views. Anyways, the point that I'm trying to show is that although revealing this video to an entire high school audience was something that I would have never done back in middle school, it's now something that I can confidently use for the intro of my senior speech. I'm sure all of you can relate to this to some degree. Seeing an old picture that's only from a few years ago is terribly cringy, but seeing much older ones like baby pictures or toddler videos can be really funny and enjoyable. Today, I would like to use this logic to convince you all to take more pictures and videos now so that you have these memories to look back on when you're older. And what better way to convince you than by showing you my family's treasured childhood photos and videos and the benefits they have brought me. Now, I'm sure you guys are going to hear a lot of speeches about being present in the moment. And while I'm sure these speeches are going to be really good, this speech provides an activity in which you can do just that. Taking the moment to decide where and how you want things to appear in a picture makes you pay attention to tiny details you otherwise may not notice. They can even help you remember the moments later on. As Elizabeth Loftus, a psychological science professor at the University of California explains, memories fade and can become contaminated without a visual record backing them up. A photo is an excellent vehicle to bring you back to a moment. And as Roger Kingston puts into simpler and more poetic terms, a camera is a safe button for the mind's eye. Now that we got the evidence out of the way, let's move on. Looking back on old pictures and videos can show how much you've changed and grown since then. A very, a very good example of this would be my younger brother. Back when he was younger, he was the biggest crybaby. Okay, maybe this may or may not have to do with my older brother and I bullying him, but regardless, as I was scrolling through what seemed like millions of baby pictures of Akuto, I was surprised at just how many of them showed him sobbing. Keep in mind, these are only my favorites and there are so, so many more. Next up is a video that I, I heavily debated over sharing with you all. This is something I have never shown anyone, not even my closest friends, but I think it's essential to the point that I'm trying to make today as it is a video that I now look back on and crack up at. Just to provide a little bit of context, this is me and Hakuro. <laughs> I'm about nine and Haku is about eight. This is us at the talent show at our elementary school back in California, where we performed We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together by Taylor Swift. <laughs> Without further ado, here it is. Never say never. Sorry, call me up, still love you. I mean, this is exhausting, you know, like we're never getting back together. Like ever. Now, 
my vocal skills may not be top tier, but you gotta admit the crowd loved it. And does this video make me so embarrassed that my soul actually physically hurts? Yes. Do I wish that my parents hadn't taken this video? Yes, but also no. Yes, I am so upset on my younger self for being convinced by my parents to do this humiliating act for a measly $5. But I am happy that I get to see things like this and think, what was I thinking? I think a big part of why I'm able to see this now and not crumble to my knees in front of you all is because I know this person is not the same person I am today. That's not to say that these experiences and the things that I've done in my childhood haven't made me the person I am today. I still think two Swiss songs are absolute bops, but there's no amount of money in the world that I would accept to do that same performance. The final and biggest reason I love seeing old pictures is that some of them are straight up hilarious. I feel like a lot of the stuff I've already shown you today contributes to this point, but here's a few more. Here are some crazy hair pictures. The middle is me, the classic showered mohawk type of thing. Then there's Hakuto, when he had long hair and went through this weird phase of refusing to shower. <laughs> Next up is one of my favorite pictures of all time. <laughs> the glasses, the smirk, it's amazing. I hope that through this speech, and all the evidence I have provided in my presentation, I was able to convince you all that looking back on photos and videos from the past can be really enjoyable. And when you're old and wrinkly, trust me, you're going to want a ton of stuff you can look back on to remember all the memories you're making today. Thank you.